Hello, everybody. I'm Chip, and I still don't have an intro. Can you close the door? Okay. <laughs> we're playing with my friend Nova, and we're playing Doki Doki, and she cannot stop laughing. Okay, I've played this game before. She hasn't, and let's yep. see. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Oh? Well, then we can't play. <laughs> what do you mean you can't play? <laughs> Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. Well, then let's get to it, or else I'm gonna have to leave. <laughs> I agree. Hopefully, there's no game echo. Like, hopefully, my mic doesn't pick up the game audio. after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> wow, bitchy much. Wow, where I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> Why do you do a tired voice so, so well? Well, I'm always tired. Why are you on the ground? Let me actually oh, check OBS. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it picks you up. Okay. Alright. I overslept again. <laughs> your voice. Oh my god. But I caught it. I caught your face this time. <laughs> oh man. You should hear Presley say, Are you lights? <laughs> Because I decided to stop and wait for you. Oh, fuck yeah, I was. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's mean, banana man. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, <it's> mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Did I now? <laughs> Don't we make you commit suicide? <laughs> Whatever you say, Siari. <laughs> we, cr we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute to hell. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Queen Banana Man! <laughs> oh, my. I think I knew it was Oh, come on. I'm just copying Presley. Oh, Presley's going to see this video and get so pissed at me. <laughs> <laughs> when Presley and I did it, I did, um, Yuri... Um, the main character, Monica, and the narrator voices. Nice. I did a fairly decent Yuri voice, if I do say so myself. I think I did a pretty good Yuri voice. <clears throat> Have you decided on a club to join yet? 
A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Presley does it better. Did I? Hmm. I don't recall this. I'm pretty sure I only just joined this game today. <laughs> I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on. <laughs> We're such a bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> she's adorable. <clears throat> Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh, fuck yeah, we're an anime fanatic. <laughs> Seven Deadly Season 4 got just dubbed ye uh, yesterday. Yeah. You still have to watch Season 3. I'm so down to just binge that tonight. That's up to you. <laughs> yeah, you will probably pass out. You're not one to stay up all night all the time. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was talking about it with Wayne, but you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college! <laughs> Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a nit in the <laughs> few years because you're not used to the real world! This isn't real, this is a game. No, you're just some random video game character I just met. <laughs> Don't make me keep worrying about you! Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll cry a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. <clears throat> I know it hurts. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Sounds like me on a daily basis. Clubs. So Yori wants me to check out some clubs. Hmm. Guess I'll have no choice but start with the anime club. Oh, fuck yeah. This yeah. isn't, this isn't l Doki Doki Literature Club. This is Doki Doki Anime Club. Fuck yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Hello? <laughs> Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Oh, well. I swear I could read it. I swear I could read it. I thought I'd catch up. You were coming out. <laughs> I thought I'd catch you when you went in the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Decent, but not annoying enough. You gotta make her really obnoxious. So obnoxious that people click off the video because I do that oh, to yeah. myself. I'd be impressed if someone could be worse than me, too. <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, oh wait. <clears throat> Know what? Well, then you can come to my club! <laughs> Sayori. Yeah! <laughs> they both did it. There is no way I'm going to your club. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, fuck no. <laughs> and you literally looked down. Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did because she thought it'd be fun to start a new club. Since, since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. I actually like literature. Nice. <laughs> that said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. See you later, fucktard. <laughs> <laughs> Her 
Elena Natsuki. Or the door. Monica and Yuri are just hot. <laughs> Yuri and Yuri are hot. <laughs> Yuri and Yuri are hot. <laughs> just completely ignores Monica. Um, you gotta give her a little bit of credit. She completely destroys the game. Okay, Yuri and Monica. Come on, please! <laughs> Why do you care so much anyway? Make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! <laughs> that strange my voice a ton. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Yes, I know. <laughs> I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. <laughs> Fuckers, I'm here. You just swing your hand in my face like oof. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. No, no, okay. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought up Oh my god, that voice is perfect for Natsuki. Oh wow. my god, yes, you're voicing <laughs> Natsuki. Yeah, sure. You can, you can try them all. I always make her sound more mature. <clears throat> ah, Banana Man, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. No, not you. Okay. All words, all words escape me in this situation. This club. Is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh my God, you're so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's so perfect. So, so sorry. Make her voice like really soft. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her smaller figure makes me think she's probably a f first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody! <laughs> <laughs> Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. <clears throat> oh, wow. It's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you ring the water guy, is that right? Oh, yeah, that's me. <clears throat> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, honestly, though, it's like, yes. <laughs> She's like that one person. Yes. It's great to see you again, but. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league, even though she's really fucking obsessed with me. She's the definition of Yandere. Her and Yuri are the definition of Yandere. Like, no joke. <clears throat> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y y y y you too, Monica. Let's move the mic here so that it's more 
more towards both of us. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentions being widened, so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped ta tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Sound like oh, fucking, no. You sound like one of those no. popular girls in school, like I popular know. bad bitches. Yeah, I forgot. The bullies. <laughs> no, honestly, that's no, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's the voice. I tried to go for like more of like yeah. Sassy bully bitch. Yeah, but like a cuter voice. Yeah. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Oh, so cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite because you know eating cupcakes is a mathematical equation. Yeah, I don't know how to take it from the right angle. <laughs> Otherwise you just completely ruined the whole cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> Natsuki is quiet. <clears throat> I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. <clears throat> this is really good. <laughs> I love that. That's the voice I did when I was voicing, uh, when I was playing with uh, Presley. Thank you, Natsuki. Why, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Yeah, last time I played this game. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you technically did, so you already said. Well, maybe. But not for you. No. No, you nummy. <laughs> you nummy? You <laughs> nummy? <laughs> yeah, he's, we're real nummy already. <laughs> oh god, my head. My head hurts. <clears throat> alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. That's oh. me. <laughs> you keep a whole set tea set in this classroom? Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. I mean, shouldn't Monica know she's considering Monica's the only one aware she's in a video game? True. And she literally has access to all the files and my computer files. True, true, true. If, yeah, yeah, fair, fair. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll 
make sure you feel right at home, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna trap you in a house in the middle of space later, don't worry. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. She sounds so dangerous. I love it. Monica, I'm surprised. <laughs> Come, you decided to start your own club. You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Hmm, debates. <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. <laughs> <laughs> I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader! You're also not in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you look fun and worthwhile. <clears throat> but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. <laughs> you mucked up. You you went to the microphone just to say that. Yes. <laughs> Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, well, uh, considering how mu- how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. No, no, much of the year, I guess. Well, that can change. <laughs> what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? traces the rim of a teacup with her fingers. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Yeah, I love doing loopy loops. Ah, ah, I, 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 I've read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I could relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock.
I read that as chewing the way you look at the world. Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Uh, <laughs> 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 what? What? <laughs> what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Club meeting? Club meeting? <laughs> it looked like you were working on a poem called... Sayori gives me mad lesbian vibes. <laughs> Sayori, side, Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand, Natsuki. Sure, you have that level of writing that takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing. <laughs> Imagine having a heart. Can't relate. <laughs> Do you have any writing experience? Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems! Stop laughing! <laughs> <laughs> we all sit in silence for a moment. Hmm? <laughs> no, we sure as hell didn't. <laughs> okay. I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. <clears throat> that way, everyone is even. Um. Yeah! Let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help all of us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Banana Man? Mm. Exactly, so that she can kill everyone I get close to because she's a fucking yandere. She can delete, <laughs> she can delete all of their character files. <clears throat> Sadly, if Monica deletes all of them, my precious Yuri. Oh no, Yuri stabs herself. <laughs> but Monica isn't like that. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem! Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I can only come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Siri might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um... I lose my train of thought. 
All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... against these girls. <laughs> <laughs> now how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Simp. Yeah. Fucking simp. <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Siori <laughs> wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Banana Man, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress a class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? She's actually not an option to write for, so I don't know. I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Atsuki clean up their food. Hey, Banana Man! Since we're right here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, <laughs> and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to go closer to one of these girls. All right. <laughs> I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Before we end the video, I just want to say if you haven't already, maybe consider joining my Discord. We have over 100 members, just barely. And Fairly active people, as you can see, we've talked today. I'm fairly active in the server myself. We've got plenty of sections. These are just kind of closed off. And yeah, it's a good place if you want to talk and make friends. Everyone's friendly for the most part. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe consider joining. I'd appreciate it. And that's all for today. See y'all.